Hey guys, Bama Guitar Dude here. So, this video may go a little long, but I want to share some tips that I've picked up over the years on scoring, how to score some great deals on outdoor gear like fishing and hunting, okay? And first of all, let me start by saying that the best time to make significant purchases of gear is usually when a season is coming to a close, okay? The worst time to buy stuff is when the season is currently going on, okay? This applies to fishing, hunting, just about anything, unless there's some big time sale going on at Bass Pro or Cabela's or whatever during the season, and sometimes that does happen. So certainly keep your eye on flyers and stuff that come out throughout the year. But normally speaking, places like Academy, Sporting Goods, and even Walmart and places like that, when a season is going out, they will a lot of times blow out their inventory, whatever is left of it, okay? So, this strategy requires you to be a very, very patient person because it could take you years to acquire really good gear, but if you are patient, you will pay pennies on the dollar on hunting and fishing equipment, okay? I mean, I have picked up stuff i'm just thinking off the top of my head some things that i've gotten really really good stuff just for nickels you know and uh it's all a timing deal in the big box retail stores and stuff and i guess that probably at your local mom and pop places as well but <clears throat> anyways i want to keep this video specifically on fishing because we're in the fishing season right now and um share some tips and stuff and things that I've picked up along the way that might help you out. And if you're on a budget or you're just a guy like me that I just like scoring great deals. I don't want to spend more than what I feel something's worth, you know, to get it. And um, sometimes that costs me some purchases, but that's okay, man. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. But uh, I want to start with um i want to start with something that i got and i got i really got heavy back into fishing back in 2015 okay and specifically bass fishing so i want to this is all going to be around trying to catch a bass okay but one of the things that i did was i went down to my local walmart and i bought an abu garcia setup and a rod you can get at Walmart is there. Let me turn this around. Sorry. Whoops. Rods are long. Okay. Let me show you that. Let's see if you can pick that up. So, a really, really solid rod. And this is a six foot six, medium heavy rod by Abby Garcia's, their Vengeance line. And I haven't bought a Abu Garcia rod in quite a while. Again, this was my first one that I picked up. I understand that they have a pro line now, and, and based on one of my buddies telling me about it, it is really, really good. But this is a this is a great budget rod. I think I spent 50 bucks on this rod. And unfortunately, I broke the tip off the other day, so I've got a repair kit that's coming, and uh, based on all the rains we've had this week, um, the USPS couldn't deliver it to me, but I really like these Vengeance rods. For a $50 rod, I was really, really surprised at how good it was. It's a fairly sensitive rod, not the most sensitive I've ever fished with. But for 50 bucks, it's hard to really complain about it. And I've caught a lot of fish on that rod. And while I was at it, you know, I needed a reel. And so I picked up, I 
picked up this uh, Abu Garcia Silver Max reel. And obviously now I've got it on a different rod. But um, yeah, it, it's been great. I mean, I've, I've never oiled this reel. I've never done anything to it. I'm a braid guy, use spider wire. And uh, this reel has been super, super reliable. So the Silver Max reel by Abu Garcia, the Vengeance Rod, six foot six, medium heavy, has caught me a lot of fish. And I've fished all techniques, you know, jigs, crankbaits, plastics, you name it. It's it's it was a do all rod for me. For quite a while, it was my only rod, so I had to make it do everything. But as time went along, my curiosity got the best of me, and I wanted to start trying out some different stuff. Um, along these lines of budget equipment, this rod here is a, an Academy brand H2O rod, and uh, it's called their Express line. It's also a six foot six medium heavy, and you know, again, for a budget $50-ish type rod, these H2O rods are really good, too. Um, as time has gone along, these have turned into more of my, um, you know, like, weighted plastics or, you know, like, crankbait-type rods because I've acquired other stuff that's, shown me that there's more sensitive rods and better reels that are available and that's what i want to get into now okay but if you just if you just want to get up and running that those brands and those products have really really served me well but since 2018 2019 or so i've been watching a lot of reviews, reading a lot of reviews, and have been keeping my eye out for more expensive, higher-end gear. And, um, you know, sometimes you're just going to stumble onto some stuff that may not be the latest models, okay? But if it's a really great high-end brand, my experiences have led me to believe that it's still really, really good stuff. And um, here recently, I've picked up a couple of G. Loomis rods, and they're the older GL2 rods. And the first one I've got, let's see if I can keep from jobbing this in my ceiling. The first one I've got was this G. Loomis GL2, and I think this is a six foot eight medium heavy and it's their worm and jig rod and um i didn't pay very much for this rod at all the guy that had it was wanting to go to a different brand of rod and so i, I just bought the rod from him okay and i didn't want to believe the hype okay because <laughs> i don't want to spend three four five six hundred whatever on a on a rod i it's just a lot of money but i will say this i've been fishing this rod now for you know a couple of years and it's really good it's my favorite rod it's i do a lot of soft plastics mostly worms and cinco's weightless so i'll texas rig uh like a zoom utel worm or whatever and it has been amazing how sensitive this rod is. Amazing. And, um, you know, last year I, uh, I tried out this Shimano SLX reel. And I got a, got a great deal on that. My buddy up the road owns a tackle shop. And um, so I put that on this G Loomis rod. And wow, I mean, it's really, really phenomenal. Really, really a, a great brand. And I've, I've fished, I've acquired Daiwa reels. I've acquired, you know, a lot of other different types of, you know, high-end reels. Um, 
by all sorts of brands and I gotta say Shimano is really really excellent stuff really good stuff um, but last night that same guy that I bought that rod from I pinged him the other day and asked him hey man do you have any more of your G Luma stuff and he he did he actually sold me this combo it's a seven foot G Loomis GL2 medium action rod seven foot um, it's got an all cork um, handle on it and he threw in this Shimano uh, reel and um, yeah I got a really really great deal on this rod and reel combination I mean an amazing price and I, I just couldn't pass it up I mean it's less than a fourth of what it would have cost to get this stuff brand new so yeah I guess my point is kind of you know do your homework re watch reviews read stuff um, but if somebody has really taken care of a higher end you know rod or reel and uh, it's evident once you inspect it that everything's in order and stuff like that don't don't hesitate to spend a little bit of money to acquire something like that because you you will be you'll be surprised at how good the stuff is you know and um it's i see guys every day going in and out of gear and and um spending a lot of money you know um on on brand new stuff and you you know you don't have to do that okay if you're dying to get into the sport of fishing you're on a really strict budget just pay attention to places like facebook marketplace if you've got a local you know a regional little discussion board join that thing if they've got a classified section keep your eye on the classified section um, I don't use Craigslist very much anymore, but I mean, I've gotten stuff off of Craigslist before. Um, but yeah, just research brands. You know, St. Croix is a good higher end brand of rod. You know, Ducket, um, things like that that are way up there in price. You know, keep your eye out for things like that. And if a used one that c comes along that's just, you know, just a few years old and it's been well maintained and taken care of, you can you can get some great deals on some equipment. So, anyways, yeah, at the end of seasons, at the big box retailers, you can score some great deals on some gear. When they have huge blowout sales, check those out. But then surfing this used market and... In particular, on the used market, focused on those higher-end brands, okay? Focus on those brands that brand new are way out of reach for you, potentially. And when something like that comes along, you know, be ready to, to jump on it. And that's how you can get really great gear, high-end gear, for um, really, really budget pricing. So... All right, guys. Well, hope that helps you out. If you've got any questions, I'm not an expert on gear. I'm not really a gearhead. I'm not really a, a brand junkie or anything like that. I'll fish just about anything, but I've had really good luck with G. Loomis and Shimano recently and uh, probably will just be focused on those brands moving forward. You know, they're it's just really good stuff. So, all right, guys. Take care. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And I'm a bait caster guy, by the way. <laughs> I don't have any spinning gear. I'm, I'm purely a bait caster. All right, take care. Bye-bye.